Hey, Year 10 Sport and Rec students. I hope you're going well. Obviously, the uh, the COVID numbers aren't exactly what we would like them to be, um, and that probably delays the uh, the return to school. But we still have no word as to as to when or how long or anything. So um, we just continue to push on. Now, I've spoken with Mr. Sharp this morning, and we're both ready to go with continuing on um, with our online learning. Um, We've got a contingency plan in place and we can do this sack that's going to be coming up in week 10 online. Um, so nothing needs to change whatsoever. Um, I just feel really bad that, that obviously the practical components are, are not as not as great as if we were at school and experiencing those excursions and incursions. Um, we will work very hard the moment that we are returning back to school to try and get as many of those excursions in as possible. Um, so stay tuned for any information about um, about that one. Okay, I am going to now just flip into today's work. Now, if you head over into our resources section, we're obviously still in the get active stage. And last week we completed the week seven's work, which was about the socio-ecological model that Mr. Sharp introduced you to, which was the um, factors to increase physical activity. This week, we are going into week eight's folder. And there is a, a task here called design a suburb, which I'm going to show you in a moment. But before I do, I actually just want to share this with you, which is our subject guide. It's something that we looked at at the very beginning of the um, semester when we when we first got together as, as a group of students and teachers. And what we were looking at was the fact that during, um, during term three, we're looking all about the promotion of physical activity and we have a sack at the end of this term and then we move into enhancing performance next term. Well, the exciting news is this, is that we are actually at the point now where we are on the very final lesson of promoting physical activity. So all of this information in area of study one here has all led to the fact that we are now ready to complete the final activity, which means that this is the final exercise or task that is related to outcome three. So you would have noticed that within outcome one, we had three weeks worth of work. Within outcome two, we had three weeks worth of work. Outcome three is only two weeks worth of work. It is last week's factors to increase physical activity, socio-ecological model, and it is this week's designing a suburb task. So I'm just going to show you now the designing a suburb task, okay? What we're having here is an activity that's a bit more practical. What you need to do is you actually need to think about um, designing a, a town, um, a suburb, a city um, that can be as physically active as possible for the people who live there for its residents, okay? So you just need to pretend that you've been employed by a local council as a town planner. So you are going to draw a top-down bird's eye view of a town or a suburb that is as physically active as possible, okay? Now, we have a look here. We've given you some ideas, okay? You need plenty of physical activity activity opportunities, okay? You need to make sure that there is a lake. You need to make sure that um, the activities that you provide can be adequate for young children, adolescents, adults, elderly, and disabled. You need to make sure that there is a large, big area of parkland for dogs to be able to let, be let off their leaf. And the reason for this is because one of the biggest enablers that allows people to be physically active is actually owning a pet, in particular a dog. People who do own a, a dog or a pet and take them for a walk are more active because of that. You need to make sure that there is a bike and or walking trail, and you need to make sure that there are opportunities for people to get together socially for sport and recreation. So things like gyms, um, recreation centers, public pools, etc. okay? Don't forget that you might want to put some bike storage if you are putting a bike track around the place, okay? And you might actually think about how you could keep it safe for people to be able to exercise until 8, 9 o'clock at night by having lighting around some of the bike tracks. 
Now you actually did a task like this in year seven, but in year seven, because we were looking at the five dimensions of health and well-being, it was very big on you making sure that there was a hospital and a school and a church and all these other things in your town. This one is all about the amount of physical activity opportunities as possible, okay? You've also grown a few years since then, so you'd be able to think slightly outside the box and come up with some really creative and exciting ideas about how more people in each of these categories can become physically active. This is a bit of a mindfulness task as well. It recommends using A3 paper. You can use A4 paper or your workbook or whatever it might be. But I do want you to take some time with this. This is today's activity. And it is about trying to think what would make you active and also what is going to be something that's going to make all the people that you know as active as possible. Okay? So... Take some time. Once you've completed it, take a photo, okay, or, or scan it and upload that into outcome three. And hopefully, if you've been staying up to date with all of your work, you will be finished outcomes one, two, and three, and you will be ready to go on with our study towards the sack that's coming in week 10. So just to summarize, okay, you need to make sure that you're up to date with everything. You need to complete today's design a suburb activity to make as many physical activity opportunities as possible. And then you need to also just start thinking about next week. Next week is going to be a catch up and revision lesson, which leads into week 10, our final week of the term, which will be our SAC week. Okay, The SAC will actually take place over two of our lessons. So our Monday and our Wednesday lesson for my class, Mr. Sharp's class, I believe it's going to be your Monday and your Tuesday class, will actually take up the time that you complete your SAC and you'll upload it online as well afterwards. So next week we'll come to you with some practice questions, some things that you should revise, what the style of questions are going to be that come up on the sack, um, and then you should be good and ready to go. Well, I'll see you later. Good luck. Let us know, Mr. Sharp and myself, if you need any help with any of today's work. We'll see you soon.